Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. It is Monday, July the 1st, 2019. I'm coming on here because we have got a lot of breaking news just in less than 24 hours. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to uh, yesterday, okay? Um, a lot happened. Uh, Israel uh, went into western Damascus and started bombing IRGC, uh, Iranian, and Hezbollah targets, okay? Um, not only that, uh, the United States of America went into Syria and bombed Al-Qaeda in Aleppo, Syria. Now, Russia, Putin, has warned the United States that we were not supposed to be inside that region for at least two years. So I'm quite certain that he is very unhappy about that. Um, also, there was a uh, Turkish plane drone that landed in Libya, which Libya is also mentioned in the Ezekiel 38 war. Amen? Uh, they, uh, the Libyan uh, army, uh, blew up that drone that landed uh, at their airport. And they also took six uh, Turkish soldiers as prisoners. Okay? So Erdogan is not going to be happy about that, not for one minute. Also... Turkey um, has warned Russia that they need to stay out of their way up in the northern section of um, Syria because, you know, he's trying to rebuild the Ottoman Empire of old, okay? Um, I don't see that going down very well uh, with Putin that he received a warning, okay, from them. Also, we have spoken much about this. This is just now breaking today, okay? Um, we've got, uh, oh, Lord Jesus, help me with my train of thought. Uh, breaking news right now. Now, our sister, Colleen, many of you follow her. Uh, I'm not going to give her last name because, uh, you know, just because. Um, she is our sister in Christ. I believe she gets prophetic dreams and or visions. I believe she does hear from the Lord. Amen. Um, she put out yesterday that there was uh, two men and one of them had a bomb. Okay. Well, breaking this morning, it is now about 10 a.m. Central Standard Time here in the USA. Um Breaking, just in the last couple of hours, there was a bomb blast in Kabul, Afghanistan. Um, don't know for sure how many have been injured. Uh, multiples of injuries, multiples of casualties, mostly children. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Amen. Okay, so... Don't know if it was a man with a bomb yet. Uh, like I said, this is just breaking. Um, but the whole Middle East, Misty, no. Sorry about that. The whole Middle East is just a powder keg right now, okay? Um, I had known this for the last few weeks. Um, I was going through many trials and tribulations, as I'm sure many of you are, Um Satan does not want us to spread the gospel. The gospel is Christ Jesus died on the cross for our sins, the sins of man. We're all sinners, okay? And God the Father raised him from the grave three days later. You need to believe that. You need to ask the Lord to forgive you. You need to hit your knees and accept him because he is the only way to heaven's kingdom, period. Um. Period. 
It's by his holy and precious blood that he shed on the cross at Calvary that covers our sin debt. He said at on the cross before he gave up his life, before he gave up his spirit, he said, it is finished. It is finished. And uh, because we believe in him and his finished works, we are saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ unto the glory of God the Father. Amen. Give your lives to Christ. Time is running short. Um, now, uh, Trump going into uh, North Korea yesterday in this peace initiative. I don't believe for a second we're going to have peace with North Korea. There is not going to be any peace because the good book tells us that while they are saying peace and safety or security or stability or prosperity, however you want to word it, many Bibles say it differently, uh, many versions. Um, for while they are saying peace and safety, peace and security, peace and st stability, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as a woman travails in birth, and they shall not escape. Who are they? Okay? Um, but I'm telling you, it, it's all going down right now. Um it's just it, it's just incredible. Also, in case you were not aware, uh, last week, the end portion of the week, uh, the United States teamed up to assist Saudi Arabia in going into Yemen, and uh, they were able to capture uh, an emir of the Yemeni ISIS uh, people there. So, he's probably dead, I would assume, okay? Um, it's just, it, it's just insanity. It really is. In the flesh, it's insanity, the things that we are witnessing. But we know it's the Word of God. It's coming to life right before our eyes. What a time to be alive, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm telling you what, I can hardly wait to see each and every one of you in the clouds. Amen. And remember, Lot's wife, don't look down, don't look back, just keep looking up. Amen. Um, there was something else that was happening. Uh, I can't think of it right now. But just those things alone. Okay, uh, there's still fires and sidereary balloons going on in Jerusalem. You know, they had this Bahrain Peace Summit uh, with the U.S. led. And then Erdogan came out and he grabbed a hold of his side of the Arab world saying, we need to come up against Israel. Okay, it's all coming together. Oh, this is it. This is it. Now, this is huge, okay? We have spoken about this before. Uh, the destruction of Alam, which is believed to be the southwest portion of Iran, okay? Now, there is a prophecy about Alam. It's known to be where the Bashur nuclear plant is located. This morning, breaking news, Iran Iran uh, Foreign Minister uh, Zarif has come out and said, publicly announced it to the world, that Iran, Iran has gone past uh, what they were supposed to be uh, keeping their enriched uranium under 300 kilograms, I believe it is. Uh, they have surpassed that. So that right there tells me they already have nuclear capabilities, and I'm quite certain that Russia has also helped them in making that happen, okay? So what will the U.S. do? What will Israel do? Well, I tell you what, <laughs> it's not looking real good, and we know that the signs of the times, everything that we have witnessed, um, I mean, it's great for the believer because we know we're going home, amen, in the rapturo, in the harpazo of the bride of Christ. 
Jesus Christ doesn't want a beaten down, bloodied bride, okay? We are not going to be here for the judgments. We are not going to be here for the wrath, okay? Um, the church is missing from Revelation 4 all the way to Revelation 19. We will be returning with the Lord Jesus Christ in the Battle of Armageddon about seven years from now, okay? So, anyway, Iran has moved their S-300 missile capability Okay, they have moved it to Tehran. This is happening, breaking now. They have moved it to Tehran. Now, I think that's pretty stupid, uh, knowing biblical prophecy. Amen? Because that leaves the Bashur nuclear facility um, without ways to, you know, prevent um, an attack on it. Okay, uh, it would blow that region to kingdom come, just exactly like um, the prophecy is explains. Okay, so keep that in your back pocket. Um, it's it's incredible, you guys, incredible. I love you all. I'm praying for us all. Stand strong in the faith. Never give in. Never give up. I don't care what comes against us. Amen. We're going to stand strong. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is coming for his people. I love you guys. And Maranatha.